Thank you so much for coming on the podcast this week. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, we are stoked that you are here. Uh, let's uh, let's go ahead and, and kick it off. Why don't you uh, tell us a little bit of, of what we're going to be talking about today? Yeah, so about six years ago, Elizabeth Kubler-Ross wrote about the five stages of grief. But it turns out there's very little evidence for those stages. Yeah, people aren't so predictable, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's a cliche for a reason, but we all do grieve differently. You know, the Victorians would take photos of their deceased loved ones and carry them around as keepsakes. That's so interesting, because today it feels like people put so much pressure on themselves to get back to normal. You know, I like to say when it comes to grief, crazy is the new normal. Ooh, can you say that again? Just say it one more time to drive it home for everybody. <laughs> crazy is the new normal. Yes! Folks who were once outgoing may become reclusive. Some may never be able to open themselves up to companionship again, while others may chase relationships doomed to fail. Guilty. <laughs> On the... Hey, little dude. You ready to go? Great, let's get out of here. Wasn't having any fun anyway. Be cool if we... Uh... Oh, sure, yeah. No problem. Come on, hon, let's go. <sighs> Try to have some fun, okay? Can we just hang out together like normal? Hun, what are we going to do? I don't know. It's a surprise. Mom. You don't have to go if you don't want to, but Clay put so much effort into planning this for you. So, give it a shot. Okay. Okay. Hey, you want your extras just in case? I'll be fine. All right. Where's your car? It's getting fixed. Again? Yeah. Why don't you come up front? You know, mine doesn't let me sit there. It's cool. It's big man time. Your mom gave me permission. Really, bud, I'm not kidding. Come on up. Yeah. <laughs> what the heck, man? Got a surprise for you. Boom. Mom told you I don't like sports. Yeah, but it's the Steelers, man. It's different when you got great seats. These are some of the best seats in the stadium. The stadiums are so loud. Well, get your earplugs. And everyone is so pushy. <laughs> I know, but these these tickets were so hard to get. Trust me, man, you'll love it. I don't like football. Okay, um, what do you want to do instead? I don't know. We can't just not go, Dax. I mean, we can, but <sighs> I spent a lot of money on these tickets. Buddy, come on, you really don't want to go? Really? Okay. Fine. I just need to make some calls. And we'll pivot, cool? We'll pivot. Pivot pals. Hey, hey, listen, I got two tickets to the Stillers today. Yeah, today, right now. Uh-huh, absolutely. No, really, okay. All right, bye, dude. Yeah, sure. Derek! <laughs> yeah. Uh, Pre-gaming, huh? Chuck. Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, dude, I'm about to make your day. Yeah, front and center tickets to the Stillers. Today's game. You can't get these seats, man. Well, I had a guy who had a guy whose mom was a season ticket holder. Yeah, today's game. What? No, there's plenty of time. You can get down there. Okay, yeah, sure, sure. Bye, dude. All right, no worries, bud. Gonna hit up Ronnie, he's a spontaneous guy. This isn't even a Steelers hat. Hey, those things are like 50 bucks. It's got smileys on it. No, it doesn't. So what, man? You know, just, just turn it around, put it on. There you go. Boom. Stillers. <laughs> well, great. Hey, man. This is the kid, huh? 
Listen, two tickets. Today's game starts in 15. Can't get these seats. Clay, it's in 15 minutes, and it's fucking freezing, bro. So bundle up. You a fan or what? How much? 400. Fuck off. Worth every penny. Nah, man. Bro, I I spent my whole paycheck on these tickets. They're worth it. They may be, but I wouldn't take them this close to game, man. And it's going to be a bitch to get there. It's a straight shot. Can we go? I know, but hang tight. Parking there sucks. Fine. 200. Nah, man. Thanks, but no thanks. $100. Yeah, I'm cozy. $100, dude. dude. It's a steal. Dude, fuck off. I'm not interested. And I'll drive you down there. For real? Yeah. All right, $75 and a ride. No take backs. <laughs> Did it. If you don't have your hand in it, you're a moron. It's the wave of the future. You know JP? JP's cashed out over 300K this year easy. I mean, he was in it like ground up, like, I mean, early days. I mean, it's like still in its infancy, but it's never too late. You need a Q tip? No. You know about this shit, right, you Gen Z's? Sit back. You sitting pretty on some crypto there, kid? You got yourself a non-fungible? Crypto's just a bubble. It'll pop. And I'm Jen Alpha. Oh, Alpha Dog. I like it. But you're wrong. And don't worry about it, kid. I was wrong once, too. Used to be a Giants fan. Hey, for every minute we're late for kickoff, I'm knocking off a dollar. Could you just, could you just sit back? Can you just walk the rest of the way? Dude, it's like a 30 minute walk, bro. Come on. No, nah, deal's a deal. You want one, Alpha? Dex! Hey, you can't just leave me here. Well, you want to go after him and I'll stay with the car? Good point. Take care of the car, please. We do yoga, kids. Dax! 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 Why don't you text her? Dax, buddy, there you are. You know him? Who are you calling? Mom. And you are? I'm mom's boyfriend. <laughs> Not after this. Yeah, we were going to the Stillers game. This little guy just bolted. What happened? It was too loud. Oh, shit, man, I'm sorry. I, I forgot that might trigger you. Look, you don't need to call your mom, okay? I'm hungry. Yeah, but the thing is, we can't leave your mom's car with Ron. But I'm really hungry. Okay, it's simple. Just two buttons, one on each side. Don't let the ball fall through. To start, you pull back on the lever and start punching. First go. Go again. Hey. Hey, man, where are you? Yeah, hey, can you pick us up? No, what do you mean, no? <laughs> no, it's not my fault. You didn't see the game. You're the one who wanted. Are you kidding me with this shit? It's my girlfriend's car. No, don't go home. Get over here. Fuck. Look at you go. There you go. Don't lose focus, bud. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Go. Oh, 
<laughs> that was insane. You okay? Oh. Oh. Oh, buddy. Oh, it's okay, little dude. Um. Yeah, come on. Let's uh, let's get you out of here. Put those on. Let's just put these. Come on out, bud. Try these on, bud. Hey, Granny Grams. Yeah, I, I, I know I haven't called. Uh huh. Uh huh. Listen, listen, Grams. Remember how we spoke about what we could do if, if I get myself into some trouble? No, I didn't kill anybody. Grams, no, hey, listen, listen, listen. Remember about the Uber? How you can make sure that I'm safe? Uh-huh. I wanna go home. Uh-huh. Okay, you gotta hit the ride button this time. Okay, love you. Can we get ice cream? I thought you wanted to go home. It settles my stomach. Pretty sure ice cream doesn't do that to stomachs. I'm pretty sure to my stomach it does. I really don't think that's a good idea after, you know. Please? Can I get one scoop of Jamaican Me Crazy, uh, another scoop of Death by Chocolate uh, in a cone, and uh, can you add sprinkles? Sure. What you want, bud? Can I get a two banana split with four layers of whipped cream, seven cherries, and three rods? Oh, and can you put it in a waffle cone and make it three huge scoops? And, oh, can you add sprinkles to mine too? Absolutely. You sure you can finish all that? Yes. All right. What the hell, Dak? What the hell? I didn't mean to. Yes, you did. Jesus. Okay, straight up, what's your deal, Dax? Nothing. What, you don't like me? Did I say something? Did I do something to you? What? I didn't mean to. You don't want me to be with your mom, is that it? Hey, kid, look at me. When somebody confronts you, you don't hide. You show up like a man. I know this has been hard for you, and your mom. And I like your mom, I really do. I know. So then, what? Your dad was a great man, and I'm not trying to replace him. We don't have boundaries. This is what I wanted to talk to you about today. Relationships require boundaries. Sort of like, ask your permission. You don't deserve my mom. Come on. You don't have a car, you don't have a job, and your friends are losers. I have a job. Mom's like a hundred. What's he hanging out with you for? 
If you don't get your life together, that's gonna be you. A loser. Dax! What happened? Hey, Jess. What happened to Dax? Oh, he's fine. He's just tired. I need to go check oh, on wait, him. Wait, wait, wait. Just, just, just one quick, quick thing about the car. What about the car? Yeah, well, so, um, we had to go sell these tickets because Dax didn't want to go to the game, and so we went over to my buddy Ron's house. You're with one of your buddies? Ron is cool. Play. I know, I know, I know. Listen, listen. The second we got in the car, Dax is, like, super overwhelmed. It was the first time being alone with you. Of course he was. I know, but not like... I mean, you wouldn't believe it. The day was nuts. We're driving Ron to the game, okay? We're stuck in traffic, and all of a sudden, boom! Dax bursts out of the door. What? <laughs> Yeah, he, he jumped out of the car, and I chased him down, and I found him, obviously, and he's here, but... Ron has your car. You gotta be kidding I me. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, I'm gonna take care of it. Look, I have all figured out with a couple of even tickets that I score. You know he doesn't like sports. Yeah, but does he know that? Does he actually know that? Or has he just not been opened up to it, or had the right guy show him how to enjoy it? Sweetheart, you took a chance. It's okay. There's so much Dax could experience if he would just loosen up. It's okay. We had our fun. It wasn't meant to go anywhere anyway. Well, maybe not at first, but like things change. Let's just call it what it is. Jess, I love you. Mom, it's not Clay's fault. It's mine. It's okay, Dax. I wouldn't call it the best day by any stretch of the imagination, but he's not such a bad guy. He's just adventurous. Thanks, bud. But healthy relationship dynamics require both adventure and stability, Clay. I'm sorry. I don't think you're ready for marriage. Who said anything about marriage? Mom, just because you're afraid doesn't mean Clay's the wrong person. Life isn't about either or. It's all about riding the wave. Where'd you learn all this? Podcast. Thanks for nothing, asshole. You want me to drive or? Uh... He's having an off day. Uh huh. Some widows and widowers are able to forge new relationships, and we know strong relationships are great for mental and physical health. Yes, and now on the flip side, I've heard that we're experiencing a loneliness epidemic. Mm, that's right. But we also may have found a surprising cure in intergenerational relationships. Adults who form relationships with a younger generation are three times as likely to be happy as those who are not. And by relationships, you mean... A friendship. <laughs> right. So, it's probably safe to say we could all use a good friend.